Mum, you won't believe the fight that's going on outside my window right now. It's Godzilla and Kong? Hey guys, welcome to my Godzilla vs Kong movie review. Could this be the greatest movie of all time? Could this change the face of cinema? Could this revolutionise the way we look at movies? No, no, it won't. It's just a, it's just a film. We're going to talk about this movie today. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. The film is directed by Adam Wingard. And for those of you who like a plot, I mean, do you need a plot really? It's Godzilla versus Kong. What are you expecting? But for those of you who like a plot, here it is. Kong and his protectors undertake a perilous journey to find his true home. Along for the ride is Jia, an orphan girl who has a unique and powerful bond with the mighty beast. However, they soon find themselves in the path of an enraged Godzilla as he cuts a swath of destruction across the globe. The initial confrontation between the two titans, instigated by unseen forces, is only the beginning of the mystery that lies deep within the core of the planet. Full disclosure, I never got around to seeing Kong Skull Island or Godzilla King of the Monsters when those movies came out in the cinemas a few years ago, simply because when they came out, there were so many other things on. You know what it's like when your diary is busy and then those movies disappear from the cinema and you think, oh, I missed out on that, but you know, is that a real tragedy? They weren't exactly going to be the greatest movies of all time. So going into watch Godzilla vs. Kong, a little bit of me thought, oh, do I need to go back and watch those movies? Am I going to miss some serious plot points or not understand something? But come on, ultimately, it's Godzilla vs. Kong. What backstory do you need? So this movie does all of those things that you expect from a monster movie now. It tries to give you some background. It tries to give you the science and the exposition as to why these two entities exist. But ultimately, we've come to see Godzilla versus Kong. It's like any other big matchup. We get the build-up and we appreciate the build-up and the backstory, but we want to see the fight. Where you have Fury and uh, Wilder, you want to see the fight. You appreciate the build-up, but you want to see the fight. You've got Man United Liverpool, we like the, you know, the history, but we want to see those two match up and fight each other. And that is what we get here. And we do get lots of it. We are going to see Godzilla and Kong, just like you see in the trailer, batter each other, kick seven bells out of each other like we see in the trailer and ultimately what we have here is big screen spectacle where you can leave common sense in another room you can leave your brain at the door and just watch a big lot of stupid on screen for the best part of two hours we have two big monsters who are battering each other and ultimately that is all we care about so much so that the human characters don't really matter in this film i often talk about the importance of character development so that we can build a connection with our human characters on screen but the humans just don't matter in this film so much so that they are all paper thin but it absolutely doesn't matter i would normally challenge that but it just doesn't matter because we're here for godzilla and kong so our human characters are just like every other character that you would see in any other monster film you've got your goodies you've got your baddies you've got a, a billionaire who we know is not going to be the nicest of guy and we get a ton of bad one-liners like, you know, get ready to be impressed or no one bows to Kong and one woman's like, my dad gets whatever he wants and that's that's all we've got, but you know what, it's all good. We've got a really good cast. Uh, for comedy value, we've got Brian Tyree Henry and Julian Dennison, loved him in Hunt for the Wilder People, and they're just there to entertain us. I can't imagine any of the cast talking about this film behind the scenes saying, I was really drawn to this role. I was drawn to this character because it made me think about an experience I had when I was younger and I really wanted to develop that in this character because they're just, they're just there to have a laugh. So not much character depth, but who cares? There are some characters that I thought, I really hope you get bumped off soon because I don't like you, but that's all good because there's characters that we're meant to love and there's characters that we're meant to love to hate. Ultimately, I actually enjoyed this a lot more than I thought. I thought I'd be a lot more critical of it, but... Then again, Godzilla versus Kong. I keep saying it. What, what am I meant to criticise? It's just two monsters battering each other. Visually, I thought it was really good. Uh, the CGI was fantastic. I often think about a movie like Transformers where it's CGI central, it's CGI crazy. And in a movie like that where you've got these big characters, these big robots fighting each other, often it just becomes a bit of a mess on screen and you can't really tell what's going on. But I thought in this movie, the CGI was great. It was clear. Kong looks brilliant. Uh, Godzilla's facial expressions were really good. I thought Godzilla had a really small head, randomly. I don't know what anyone else thought of that. And this film, I enjoyed it to the point where it made me think about the cinema and it actually made me miss the big screen. And I've been talking about how much I miss watching films 
at the cinema because you're watching a fight and you're watching them amongst skyscrapers. You, you want to watch that stuff on the big screen, right? You, you really do. So yeah, really good. Big stupid fun. And I mean, completely stupid fun. There was no political undertones in this. There was no secret hidden messages about how we should look after the world today or anything like that. And if you do find some deeper message in that, then I think you're really reaching. But yeah, just a big stupid blockbuster. We do lots of globe trotting. We go, you know, USA, Antarctica, Hong Kong, even a journey to the center of the earth it appears and it's all good so ultimately i think the moral of this film and the moral of the story get ready for this big moral is don't have a business in downtown hong kong don't have a business amongst the skyscrapers because if you do you know if, yeah big monsters will just come and just knock it all down have a business in a rural area because can you imagine if you had your business in one of these skyscrapers what if you left your macbook there You'd be gutted. You'd be gutted if you left something expensive at work, you know, and then some monster comes and gets it because any insurance company is not going to cover that. I don't think they cover Acts of Godzilla. I wrote that joke at the start. I love it. So, yeah, I enjoyed this movie. It's big. It's stupid. It's, it's ridiculous. But I was entertained. So my official Marcus Loves Movies rating for the movie Godzilla vs. Kong is mini drum roll. Three and a half stars. So that's what I thought of the movie. I thought it was decent. I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it for what it was. But as always, I'd love to find out what you thought of it. Did you really enjoy Godzilla vs. Kong? Or do you feel like the filmmakers got it all wrong? Do you feel like this movie was actually pretty darn good? Or would you erase it from your memory bank if you could? Please let me know in the comment section. Can I ask you to give this video a like? Give it a thumbs up. And if you like your movie reviews and movie discussion and trailer reaction and all that good stuff, can I encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel? Not only just to do that, but also to hit the notification bell as well. So you're notified every time I release a brand new video. Thank you for watching this review. Please share it with a friend. If you've got a friend, share it with somebody and tune in for the next time I do another movie review. Until then, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.